in this instance, we're talking about a patient in your office who comes back with a test that says they're both anti-CDTB and anti-vinculin positive. So in that instance, it's possible that the infection or the food poisoning may have been recent. That's one possibility. And that they still have elevated anti-CDTB and now they've progressed to anti-vinculin. Another possibility is that the patient had an infection a long time ago and the antivinculin is elevated, but they also had another recent infection to bring anti-CDTB back up again. These are the possibilities of how these antibodies behave based on what we know today. But a lot needs to be determined about whether this is truly the, the cause of this particular orientation of the antibodies. But suffice it to say that when both of these antibodies are elevated, again, it means that with greater than 90% specificity, the patient has irritable bowel syndrome with diarrhea. Or